Hello. In this video, we will cover the onboarding of a new end user company in the Cronus Backup as a Service. Here's a quick summary of the different user account hierarchy levels that are present in a Cronus Backup as a Service. As you can see, they mirror the selling relationship between providers and end users. As any of these levels may include multiple companies, groups and backup accounts were introduced to make the management easy and fast. Each of the end users makes up a group with assigned quotas and limits. When a new end user signs up for Backup as a Service, at least one backup account shall be created in the group to allow Cronus Backup as a Service to back up the computers at the particular end user company or unit within it, for example, a department or team. Whenever you sign up a new end user company, a new group shall be created in the user account hierarchy. Click the Add button at the bottom of the group's pane. Specify the end user company name in the Name field. Select the end user company type. Choose the respective language. Choose the appropriate storage location. Set the optional quotas, for example, the maximum number of physical workstations, servers, or virtual machines the particular end user will be allowed to back up or the amount of storage available for the particular company. Provide the information of your major contact in the company, including full name, email address, and phone number. Press Create to finish the process. Here is a summary of all steps you have to take to create the new end user group. This process is smooth and easy and does not take more than a minute. When the new end user company group is created, you are ready to create the backup account that is necessary for the backup of the computers of the particular end user. To do so, open your new end user group created, making sure you're on the Backup Accounts tab, and click the Add button at the bottom. Provide the contact information of the person at the end user company responsible for this backup account, including first name, last name, and email address. Set the optional quotas. Similar to the creation of the end user company group, you may set the backup storage quota and the maximum number of machines the particular backup account is allowed to back up. Enable or disable notifications that the new administrator might get. Backup notifications will include emails on backup statuses. Business notifications will inform about quotas and limits being exceeded by that end user. If you'd like to create another backup account, check this checkbox and it will open up a new backup account creation form upon completion. Finish the process by clicking the Add button. Activation emails similar to this will be sent to the address provided. The newly created administrator will need to confirm his rights by pressing this activation link. Here is a summary of all steps you have to take to create the new backup account in your end user company group. As you can see, it is straightforward, intuitive, and could be done within a couple of minutes. Thank you, good luck, and goodbye.